the headlines are that that the guidance is weak and that the, you know this, the, we're hearing things about future quarters. But if you look at where the revisions are, so where analysts are es changing their estimates for the next quarter and for next year, they've been perfectly fine. And so it's not the guidance isn't problematic. The size of stock beats is coming in much better than normal. Companies are beating expectations by about six percent. Then why aren't stocks getting rewarded for it? Well, you know, I, th I think that they will. And they're tying, you know, you know, in the near term, there's a wall of worry of a million things. You have the Fed tightening and you have trade concerns and we have midterm elections right around the corner, which could theoretically be disruptive. I don't think they are. But once we realize that these things are not likely to become problems, but they're real, real, simply risks of problems, I think that we'll be fine. Margie, are you as positive and a buyer on, on this weakness in stocks? Well, I'm still positive. I think we'll have a nice year end rally. We always do. But I think realistically, when you look at the outlook for profit growth, while it's good, it's going to be, I think, decelerating from the levels we've seen of this year, that 20 percent. And that says to me, many stocks will have a lid on their price earnings ratio, probably will move lower. So that, I think, over the next year will keep earnings uh, and profits more around mid single digits for total stock returns. So not quite as positive as, as we've had earlier this year till this correction. Jonathan, have you done anything to your 09, I mean, 19 uh, outlook on either on earnings or top line? No, I mean, I, th I think that we're, you know, when we get, I think that you, know, you have two stories. Between now and the end of the year, I think you're going to get all of this back, every penny of it, as we get, you know, as this volatility rolls over, as the VIX moves back to the low, to the low double digits. And next year, I think that we're in a low double digit environment. And I, and I, and I disagree with our, with our other guests. I think that you're going to have something like, 8% earnings growth next year, and I think that multiples are, are just obscenely low. They're going to edge a little bit higher, and I think that's going to get you there. And, Margie, you say multiples are not low enough, given the trajectory is changing for next year's numbers? Yes, I think there'll be a little bit of erosion in the average price earnings ratio that will offset even pretty good earnings growth. Still, I'm looking for more for mid single digit returns from equity. So certainly not bad in historic context, but not near the double digits that we seem to be having earlier this year.